eh, lo hacía escondida de todo, pero yo con 13 años lo pillé. También escuchaba cómo a veces él le pegaba. Entonces, eh, si bien mi mamá siempre trató de mantener la familia como en secreto, esas cosas. Que no, que era fea, que no, que nadie me pescaba. Que no había esperanza en mí. Que mis manos eran feas, mi cara. Me miraba al espejo y lloraba. Dos veces traté de ahorcarme. Well, at Hand of Hope, the outreach arm of Joyce Meyer Ministries, we are honored to work alongside Teen Challenge to help people break the chains of addiction and to see all that God has created them to be. Patricia and Norbert, would you begin by telling us about the need for a home like this here in Chile? Mm -hmm. Well, we have uh, the situation with uh, the women growing up in atmospheres where men abuse them. And through that abuse, women are turning to drugs like never before. The men beat them up, they turn them into slaves, they make them do the drug runs. And so they are afraid to, st to step out. They are afraid to go back to their families. It's a nine to 12 month program. We have a curriculum that gives them step by step discipleship in which they can grow in Christ. Once they're mature enough, they are reunited with their children. And when they live that dream of being free from drugs and being free from those things that cause them to turn to drugs, then they can be the mother that they need to be. Pamina, you are such an important part of all of these women's stories because of the way that you play a huge role in their healing. What are some of the particular troubles that women are dealing with? La necesidad de amor, del abrazo familiar, del abrazo de alguien que te ama, lo que buscan, lo que necesitan, lo que transforma. Porque mis manos eh, son instrumentos de Dios. Y esta es mi familia. Ellas son mis hijas. Cuando supe que Él me perdonó, a pesar de que le hacía daño también a la gente al vender droga, eso me, me sentí súper porque alguien me amaba así como yo era. You said before that you couldn't even stand to look in a mirror because of how ugly you felt. What do you see now? When I'm working, many people come to me and say, oh, your smile, you have something special. A ver que it's special. And one time I stopped and looked at the mirror, but I looked at my eyes. And he said, I did this. And it was my face. What an amazing privilege to see the way that these women are blooming, the way that the beauty that God has put in them is now coming out so that they can see it. And when you help a woman, it flows over into her children, into her families, and it changes so many lives. That is what Project Girl is all about, sharing the beauty and you can do that with us right here in Chile as we've been talking about and in many, many places all over the world.